We've heard great certainty expressed here in Crimea this past week that people are ready to split from Ukraine. But surely there are a great many people here who are now giving thought as to what their new life will be like within the Russian Federation. What will happen to the economy, to their salaries, their jobs, their pensions? Well, today we're seeing the first ripple of panic. You can see a queue forming at this ATM machine. And this is because a rumor is doing the rounds that the banks have set a limit on cash withdrawals to 300 hryvnia, which is the local currency. That's about $30. Now, it stems from a statement that was put out by the central bank in Ukraine that moving money within Crimea is proving difficult at the moment. Certainly, we've heard statements from the pro-Russian parliament here that they're ready to switch from the hryvnia to the ruble, and they've talked about nationalizing the Crimean banks. But today, Mr. Aksyonov, the new prime minister, is urging people to remain calm. There's nothing to worry about, he says. Shall we go and find out whether people are ready to take him at his word? People are worried uh, about the bank system. Uh, we don't know what uh, will be uh, the future. The future now. Yeah. yeah. But you want to go to Russia? You want to be part? No, of no, no. I, I don't want. You want to I stay with Ukraine. I, I want to stay with yeah. Ukraine. Yeah. So are you worried about your salary and yes. your savings? Yes. I worried. I don't want live in Russia. Um, I want live with Ukraine. Да, конечно, да. Мы думаем, что это временные трудности. Yes, we heard the rumors, but I think it's only a temporary problem. Я думаю, что Путин все предусмотрит. I think Putin will solve everything. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Спасибо. It's not altogether worrying. Older people here have told us the state pension in Russia is much better than the state pension in Ukraine. And as you can hear, there's great confidence that Vladimir Putin will bankroll Crimea, at least in the short term. And well, he might have to because life will be different. All the transport networks come through the northernmost tip of the peninsula that links with Ukraine. The new government in Kiev has threatened to cut off food and fuel supplies. And there are big question marks about what Crimea's relationship will be with the outside world. So this week, it's about the referendum. Next week, there are serious issues for this fledgling government in Simferopol to debate.